Welcome to Twisted Creations. My name is Andrea and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making another coffee scrub. I'm still using the Coco Mama's recipe that I used the last time, but instead of sugar this time, I'm using salt. So this is one cup of the salt, one cup of the coffee. I'm going to measure out a half a cup of coconut oil. The fragrance I'm going to be using is one tablespoon of vanilla that I need to roll over. I didn't realize it's upside down. There you go. Of the vanilla and Optifin preservative. I use, I'm going to use a preservative because I want, I'll be using this in the shower with me and if your product is going to have any contact with water it has a chance of building mold or mildew or anything like that in your product, you want to use a preservative. And I chose to use the Optifin. So let's get started. First, I'm going to dump these two into my bowl. I'm going to make a quick change. Uh, I'm not going to use this fragrance oil. I'm going to use this in my wax tarts, which I did buy some more vanilla scent from Brambleberry after this one runs out because as you see, it's quite a bit low. Instead, I'm actually going to use imitation vanilla flavoring. But since I'm not going to be using this in anything we eat, I think this will be okay because it smells great just like vanilla does. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of that instead. You'll notice that in the recipe, if you read it, it has a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in it. In this recipe, I'm choosing not to. Instead, I'm going to use it the next time. I also noticed in the last coffee scrub, I didn't think I had enough oil, so I think I might use just a little bit more in this time to see if I like the oil that way. I'm mixing the salt and the coffee together, and then I'm going to measure out my coconut oil to add in along with my other wet ingredients, the vanilla, and then the vanilla and the preservative. That over a bit, and now I'll measure the coconut oil, which I stuck in the. It was so solid when I opened it, so I only stuck the microwave for 10 seconds, and it melted down to a liquid. So coconut oil has a really low melting point. There we go. Just a little bit. I just want a tiny bit extra. Not too much. I didn't think it was that short, but I wanted to just add just a little extra to the recipe. Then I'm going to use a spoon to stir it instead of my hands. Alright, now that hurts. I might be using my hands because you just saw that. There's my spoon in the coconut oil. So. Let's see if I can get that to sit like that, and then I can wipe it off with the towel. So we're going to pour the preservative first. Now we're going to use less than uh, how many ounces this is. It's 
not even an ounce. It's not even a, a milliliter. That is how much we're using. Just a itty bitty tiny bit. Okay, take that back. Nope, that's still too much. You don't need, you only use need to use 10% for your recipe. So I added too much. Now I gotta add it back into my container. So it needs to be like that much, which I can't show you because it's sideways. Maybe I'll take a picture of it sideways and stick it on the screen. It's less than 2.5 milliliters. Half a milliliter, maybe, for all of this. You really don't need a lot of preservative to go a long way. And now I'm going to measure out one tablespoon, which I have right here. So I'm going to measure it out and then I'm going to pour it in there to see how many too. Five milliliters. So I'm going to pour that in there because I want this coffee to have a vanilla smell. Got a bouncy girl in here with me today. Let's clean up my mess a bit. Alright. There we go. Now we're going to, all we need to do is mix it up. This was a lot easier than my last one. I had to stop and add some more, stop and add some more. So it wasn't fully prepared. This time I had everything pre measured and ready to go, even the right amount of preservative. I do like the smell of the cappuccino one I made last time. I'm hoping I like the smell of the vanilla and coffee one this time. I don't see why I wouldn't. I like the smell of coffee. I like the smell of vanilla. Yep, you can definitely see that's a lot wetter than the last one was. It mixes really fast, which is nice. You want to make sure it's thoroughly mixed together. No dry spots. should get about the same amount of jars I did the last time. I got four jars. So I'll go ahead and package this. This is a three ounce jar, so it'll be three ounces of the coffee scrub. Pack it in there, make sure it's tight. I don't like air pockets. Alright, there it is. I'm gonna wipe off the edges since I grab another paper towel. I 
There we go. And then we'll cap it up. And it's ready to be sold. Or used. I really should say used first. This one I'm going to use in my bath. I'm going to try this. Uh, now I'm going to take off my gloves. Of this, because you don't need much, as you can see, it exfoliates nicely. And I'm going to rinse it off. See how moisturizing it is. And I can already tell what I didn't do. Because you can see the oils floating on the top of the water. I can feel it still on my skin. It didn't rinse completely off. And that is because I did not add polysorbate 80. So what I'm gonna do is dry off my hands and then mix it in. So I'm gonna measure this in. And since I used a half a cup of oil, I am gonna add 10, mil 10 milliliters of polysorbate 80 into the mixture. So I guess I wasn't completely prepared. I forgot to add this to my recipe. It's not in Coco Mama's recipe. It's probably why I forgot it. But I do like it because it helps it burns the oils off your skin nicely so there's no extra slick to it. it. Keeps the oils from sitting out of your tub so it rinses off nicely and it keeps like colorant from staining your tubs. It's a really nice emulsifier and I like using it in almost all my projects. I don't use it in melted pour because melted pour doesn't need it. So I don't use it in any soaps. Alright, I believe that's thoroughly mixed in now. So now, what I'm going to do is get a fresh bowl of water to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I got new water now, so I'm going to show you how this works. You'll see the difference from the polysorbate 80 in there. I like especially in bath bombs, because that, when you use a bath bomb, it helps to keep it from... Sorry, my daughter's in the room with me and she's singing, and I'm listening to her. Alright, let's move my hands over here. It's a really great exfoliant. Now, this is where the polysorbate comes in handy. I'm not 
nice and I moisturize. I can feel the softness and the oils on my skin. But as you can see, there's no leftover oils on my skin. It took all the excess off. As you can see, there's not as much water on, sorry, not as much oil on top of the water because it helps emul emulsify the oils inside with the water so that way it goes down your drain. It's not leaving a slick, slick spot in your tub. I really do like polysorbate 80. I use it in my bath bomb. I'm going to use it in my scrubs, especially for my face scrubs. When I do the one for any scrub, especially if you're gonna use it on your face. So this is I'm gonna repackage the rest of this and it's ready to use. I'm gonna share this batch with my friends and family. And I will be making this and selling it on Etsy soon. If I have a date when I post this, I'll leave it at the bottom of the screen. I'm working out the cake. Oh, my daughter. Yeah, she's made a tent next to me. Uh, and until next time, have a great day.